here. And here's what I'm expecting. After we get through today's rain, we're going to dry out for Friday, for Saturday, and then the second half of Sunday, here comes the next round of rain and snow for the mountains. Great news for them. Then we get into Monday, and you guessed it, more of the same. On and off showers here. Tuesday, we're going to get another round. Wednesday, we get another round. And then we make it a break here as we hit uh, Thursday. So that'll be real nice. A look at your seven-day forecast. Uh, temperatures will stay in the 50s here in the next few days. I expect lots of sunshine here for Friday and a kind of cloud and sunshine mix there on Saturday. Yeah. I just got to say, go Seahawks. I'm going right. to throw this on now. That, the show's that, over. That's, that's coming up uh, later right here on Fox 12. <laughs> Also following a couple of things, this is the Coronavirus Task Force briefing that's coming up. We'll bring that to you live. I'm ready when you guys are. I'm Pete Ferryman, and here's the latest news update from Fox 12. An illegal homeless camp in southeast Portland was swept this morning. Crews cleared a stretch of sidewalk near Laurelhurst Park. The city of Portland says the camp scored high on its impact to neighborhood livability as well as conspicuous drug use. A man is scheduled to appear in court today to face charges in the deadly stabbing of Matthew Choi, who co-founded a Portland kimchi restaurant. Uh, yesterday, U.S. Marshals arrested Alan Ko, who was accused of attacking Choi last month in Choi's apartment. The two lived in the same building in southeast Portland, but there's no word yet on a possible motive. Crews are searching for a father and son after their plane lost contact with air traffic controllers. Searchers think the plane may have gone down on Monday in a remote area of the Mount Hood National Forest. According to the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office, the pilot reported having trouble with bad weather and said that ice was forming on the plane. Now here's Brian McMillan with a look at the weather. Hey there, Pete. Just a few showers today, and then we'll, once we're done with that a little bit later on tonight, expect Friday to be dry from start to finish. We're going to have just some brief morning fog, lots of afternoon sunshine. Highs today and tomorrow will be in the low to mid-50s, and we'll stay in the mid-50s here for Saturday with partly cloudy skies. The rain returns Sunday afternoon. Pete. All right. Brian, thanks for news and weather updates anytime. Just download the Fox 12 app on your phone or tablet, or you can log on to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash fox12.